On Deck podcast presented by Line Star, your top MLB player profits for today, plus home run calls of the day. Alongside my co host, Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville. And yesterday, Tyler, big day for the show because we swept in our home run calls, our props, <laughs> not so good. But hey, at least our home run calls that, especially Jeremy Pena, plus 500 for a home run cash for us. And I had actually taken out a ticket on Juan Soto, Aaron Judge, and uh, Jordan Alvarez for a home run. However, Jordan did deliver, but shouldn't have faded me. It was a good day yesterday. Shouldn't I shouldn't. Me. I should have taken your guy <laughs> there, but I was going with my philosophy because I had picked Jordan Alvarez the day prior, and I had ah, been on a streak yes. whereby the the home run call would hit the following day. So I had to go with that. But today we're back after it today. Smaller slate today, just three games on the main slate. We're focusing on those late games to give you guys enough time to be able to place these bets. You can find them on Underdog Fantasy, Parlay Play, Chalkboard, um, which is the other one that I'm missing here on the Sleeper. Line Sleeper as well. We've got some deals as well if you use the promo code LINESTAR, especially on Sleeper. You can get up to $500 right now if you use the promo code LINESTAR, so make sure to take advantage of those deals. The links are below. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Speaking of comments, if you comment right now, you're automatically entered into our Prop Bets contest. If we go two for two on our picks, one randomly selected commenter will win $50 on tomorrow's show. And once again, our boss here at LINESTAR came to us and said, you guys are doing too good right now. Uh, we're giving out too much money. Yep, I don't but we're care. Gonna, but we don't care. Don't we're going to keep doing it. Not going away. <laughs> so let's get out of here. <laughs> also, at the end of the show, I do need to go on a bit of a rant. And the topic is oh, going to be gosh, Knicks course, Pacers. Knicks. So course. I just have to get some things off my chest. I'll do that at the end of the show, though. Are, are you going to also ra- uh, rant about your sixth teammate, the, uh, ref- the refing crew? Oh, we're not going there. That's just a bunch <laughs> of crybabies for the Pacers talking about the referees. I can get into that if you'd like. They but... have 78 reasons why it's not uh, crybabies. Oh, they're just, that's just a ploy. That's just a ploy to get oh, yeah. some calls in, in Indiana. So I, I'm, not, I'm not taking the bait on that one. Nice try, though. So are you saying that they have had no effect on this series? I think, actually, the refing has been... Pretty good. You would, Knicks fan. <laughs> Let's get into it for today. Of course, we're using the Props AI tool to help us find the best value. Check it out at linestarapp.com. All right, Tyler, get us rolling here on MLB props for today. Not a lot of games to choose from. A little bit of a small sample to choose mm-hmm. from, but where are you headed? I'm going to go with Michael Waka over 4.5 K. So it's minus 135 in sports books. And look, on paper, it doesn't look great, but line star projection is 5.3. The Angels over the last 150 games do have a 23.7% K rate versus right-handed pitchers. Waka K rate is 21% over the last, last 20 stars. But versus left-handed pitchers, that goes up to 23%, or sorry, left-handed hitters, Mm -hmm. which there could be like six in the lineup today. So I like this spot for Waka to go over four and a half uh, Ks versus the Angels. All right, I'm going to a guy that you've been picking a good bit in the home run calls department for good reason because he's been doing phenomenal this season, and that's Kansas City Royals' Vinny Pasquantino over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. Line stars projection is 1.9. I usually like that to be over two, but in this case, the other uh, stats are in our favor. He's been over the seven of the last ten games, and he's been heating up 381 average over the last week. Today, he'll be facing Reed Detmers, who he's actually two for three against with the home run. I know it's a very small sample size, but I always love, I think there is like an extra confidence boost when you've taken an opposing pitcher yard. I say this time and time again on this show, plus Detmers giving up a 785 OPS to lefty bats. So like the play here for Pasquantino. Yeah, good old Vinny P. He's Vinny uh, P. doing well in best ball for me. Nice. And he, I think he was one of the guys we talked about preseason. Earlier in the season. Yeah. yeah. All right. Any bonus for us? I know there's uh, not a lot to choose from. Yeah, I got to bring this one up. And it is not for uh, sites like Underdog or the Pick'em sites. And the reason being is it's Sunny Gray under 17.5. It's at plus 155 in sports books. And the additional money is the whole reason I like it. Our line star projections, 15.7. Consensus is 16.6. And with plus 155 odds and those projections giving us an edge like that, I got to kind of just bet it. Mm -hmm. Uh, The simple fact of the matter is that he has not been under this season except for when he was limited. 
But going into last season, he was under in 13 of 32 starts. With that plus 155, I think it's a profitable yeah, bet. That, that payout alone is yeah. just enough to take a gamble on it. All right, for my second bet, I actually like this just as much as I like the Vinny P one, and that's Nolan Arenado. Over one and a half hits runs in RBI. Linesar's projection here is over that two mark that you like to see. He's been over this three of the last five days. And Arenado, who started off the season a little cold, has been heating up as of late. 1121 OPS over the last seven days. Remember, MLB average for that OPS at on base plus slugging is around 700 or 720. And in fact, uh, he's got an 803 OPS versus right handed pitching. Remember, Arenado is a righty bat with immense power against other righties. In fact, that's almost 400 points higher than Arenado does against left-handed pitching. And today he'll be facing Brew Crew's righty Tobias Myers, who's giving up a 786 slugging to righty bats. MLB average for slugging this season is around 385. So he he could get crushed today. I, I don't know, but I know the run total is kind of low in this game. However, Myers 296 against righty bats and Arenado – not too long ago was uh, NL MVP for a reason. I don't think that talent has just disappeared over a year or two. I think it's still there, and he's got the pop. One and a half uh, hits, runs, and RBS. Now, this is a stat where I look up usually what the team does in general to see if they can help him out. The Cardinals haven't been that good this season in terms of those batting stats. However, I like Arenado. I think he's been heating up so he could get it there, I think, himself over yeah. that one and a half mark. I, I'm pretty surprised at the Cardinals, like Goldschmidt, just right. has fallen off. Uh, Arenado has been decent this year, but it was terrible last mm -hmm. year. Crazy spot for the Cardinal fans. Sorry. <laughs> On the flip side of things, I do want to bring up the BVP data for Willie Adamas today. Over one and a half hits, runs, and RBI is not a bad play there as well. He is going up against Sonny Gray, who you talked about in your bet, Tyler. But uh, he has really good numbers against him. Five for ten with a home run there. So... Not a huge sample size there to go off of with uh, against Gray, but that might also be a play, too. I figured it was worth mentioning um, for those of you guys who are looking for some other alternatives. If you didn't like maybe our earlier picks, give you guys some options to work with there, whether you're playing on Parlay Play, Underdog Fantasy, or uh, Sleeper. Again, that $500 deposit match is in the mm -hmm. works right now if you use that promo code LINESTAR. So all the links to those are below. If you haven't taken advantage, make sure to do that. And do us a huge favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below. Not only does that help us out in the algorithm department on YouTube, but it also helps you out because it enters you into the Prop Bets contest. Hopefully, we will be setting off the money guns. Uh, you know, nice to have Tyler back in the studio. Too bad we couldn't have a in-studio money. money gun contest. Yeah. Uh, but it's we, right. you know, we are sort of running out of, out of money. Uh, we've had, a, we, we had a bit of a theft of the fake money in oh the studio, boy. which, uh, yeah, we'll tell, we'll tell you about a little bit later, but for now, we are going to home run calls of the day. Tyler, where are you headed for a home run today? Well, you stole a little bit of my shine, but I'm going with Willie Adamas plus 475 for a home run. Line Star has it at a 14.4% chance of a home run. It's versus Sonny Gray, who's an outstanding pitcher who mm -hmm. limits home runs, but Adamas has 15 plate attempts against him. He's hitting 500 off Sonny Gray with one home run, a 400 ISO. I like the spot for Willie Adamas, and if Gray can get knocked out a little bit early, you then have the uh, bullpen to, you know, hit one off. So I like the spot for Adamas at plus 475. Earlier this week, I took him for over one and a half hits, runs at RBIs, and he delivered on a walk-off, calling mm -hmm. his shot. Pretty awesome to see Hopefully there. Hopefully he does it Hopefully again. Hopefully he does it again today. For my pick, I'm going with Nolan Arenado, who is actually Line Star's top projection for a home run today. 20.5% chance of hitting a bomb. 667 slugging just over the last week and a 209 ISO against righties over the last 150 games. That's actually the fourth highest among hitters on the main slate for tonight. Remember MLB average is around 140 for that ISO stat. So he's far above that and going up against the Milwaukee Brewers ready to bias Myers, who doesn't have a ton under his belt in the big league so far, but he is giving up a 3.46 home run per nine rate. Five home runs given up in three outings certainly gives up a lot of power, especially to righty bats and that Milwaukee bullpen 1.14 home run per nine rate. 
That is fifth highest among all bullpens in Major League Baseball. So I think Nolan Arenado is in a really great spot today for a home run. I know the run total is a little bit lower in that game, seven and a half. However, I like Nolan Arenado. I think he delivers a bomb for us today, and hopefully he'll cash on the home run and our hits, runs, and RBI props. So just doubling down on Arenado today. Just all in. Let's do it. All right. Make sure to check out that Props AI tool on the Line Star app. Plus, if you are liking to place those home run calls or the home run bets, make a little home run ticket for yourself, make sure to check out the MLB Dinger Report on the Line Star app to help you do just that. Yesterday, we swept across the board in our home run calls, so it was a nice day and a nice payout if you guys tailed yes. us there. So let Hope us know. Somebody you, parlayed Yeah, them hopefully off. somebody tailed us there on, on yes. one or two of them. Let us know in the comments. Again, a comment enters you into the Prop Bets contest. 50 bucks to a randomly selected commenter if we go two for two. Once again, our picks for today, we're going Michael Waka over four and a half strikeouts and Vinny Pasquantino over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. Again, you can tail us on parlay play you can tail us on sleeper underdog fantasy chalkboard all of those links are below and make sure to take use that promo code line star oh got to do my rant almost forgot i know you're so disappointed tyler so but i did not no i was just i don't know if you watched the game last night tyler Knicks pacers but the big story of the game mm-hmm. tnt made it about reggie miller and i was just really I thought they kind of blew it a little bit. Like, A, this guy hasn't played since since 2004. So, like, it's not at all relevant in this particular series. And then when Jalen Brunson got hurt in the first half, like, there was zero coverage of it for a a couple minutes. Like, it took a couple minutes for them to catch up to the fact that, oh, wait, Jalen Brunson isn't in the game. What's going on with him? And they didn't really, like, talk about the injury when he got hurt. I was just a little – I thought they kind of blew the coverage there, but – that's just me. I don't know. Did you You're watch it at all? Saying that Ricky Miller choked. <laughs> I mean, I just think Reggie, TNT and TNT Reggie. in general uh, could have done a better job on their coverage. As I was saying earlier this week, um, when she's you been on a the hater show, on all coverage. I just think national <laughs> broadcasts don't quite hit it for you know when you're watching your team, you want your you do want your homer guys on the call. Come on, you you want that. I don't want objectivity. I want someone on my side that's in the trenches with me. Like, Well, the worst thing is when they're supposed to be objective. And, and they're not. They're obviously not. Right. Because uh, then you just can't really do both. You, yeah. It's so hard to be totally yeah. And last unbiased. night it was all about like Reggie Miller and things that happened and 20 Knicks years choking. ago. And then um, they just totally missed the biggest storyline of the game, which was Jalen yeah. Brunson getting hurt. And then later in the game it was OG and Obi. I just... You know, we don't need another Reggie Miller montage. Thanks. I'll. I'd rather have an injury report. I'm just going off today. I know Starks Feel a little doesn't. Spicy. Starks doesn't want to watch that. Uh, yeah, I, I was hoping that they would have all of the old Knicks just like huddled around. Uh, but at least you know what I loved in that game last night was when Josh Hart dropped an f bomb on the uh, microphone. He went over to Reggie Miller. I think they're chanting about you because the entire MSG was chanting. Uh, basically f you yeah. reggie so at least the, the new york fans gave him a nice new york welcome uh now it's off to indiana on friday mm-hmm. the crew on the call is going to be espn it'll be doris burke and jj reddick mm-hmm. uh so we'll see how that let me know what you guys think in the comments of all these nba broadcasts i feel like i i mean i think i'm just critical because i don't know that's just how i am when i watch sports it's just like why are you talking about this or that but mm-hmm. um do you have any Cri- I, I honestly of any broadcast or I honestly you don't even watch listen on to mute. Them. I, I, I don't <laughs> even listen to them anymore when I do it's low enough that like I don't hear everything I, I just don't care about them <laughs> that's the way like, to do it I they, think <laughs> I mean yeah most of them just aren't that entertaining yeah you know and they're talking about stuff that is either so basic or just doesn't really matter and i don't care about it you just gotta watch on mute i mm-hmm. think that's the that's the answer that we've all learned all right good luck in all of your prop betting endeavors for today remember to check out uh tyler and any dfs breakdown questions drop them his way you can drop yes. it in this show's comments if you have any questions about today's slate as well yeah um, and unfortunately there won't be one today because it is only three games and then tomorrow i'm actually out we gotta go to my sister graduation oh. so no dfs show tomorrow either unfortunately but don't worry, I'll be holding it down for mm-hmm. the props department tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get to set off the money gun. Good luck, everybody. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Good luck, guys. Bye.